Whew. Good evening, guys, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mindac Outdoors, and if you're new to the channel, pause the video right now and click the like button. I'm gonna sit here awkwardly for five seconds, not say anything until you do it. Okay, so now that you're subscribed, welcome back to the channel. Today, do I have a funny and special video for you guys. I am in central Minnesota, and I found this location a little bit ago where this place was just chocked full of rock bass and some bluegills and regular bass. And I did a video, I think, last summer where I caught and cooked some rock bass. And I'm like, dude, I gotta do it again because you guys love this video. So I'm back at this spot where I found some rock bass and we're gonna do some rock bass catch, clean, and cook action. Did that make any sense? I have no clue. I'm talking a lot right now because I'm excited. The lake is right here. We're gonna put a beat down on them. There's a lot of people out there that say, dude, rock bass is the filet mignon of the lakes. And then I've heard people say, ew, rock bass is so nasty. So today we're gonna do a little myth busting and see if it's good or bad. I already know it's gonna be gas, but there's people out there that are like, oh, it's not good. So I don't know. We're gonna see how this goes. You guys stay tuned. Let the adventure begin. All right, guys, we have made it to the spot. I'm at this dock and I saw a bunch over here, like right under the dock pretty much. So the rod setup that I have going on right here is kind of like a, it's a crappie rod. It's my crappie rod. Now, I don't know exactly what you're supposed to use for rock bass fishing, but uh, that's what we're gonna use today. I got a bobber as you guys, I'll just come over here and show you guys. I have a bobber, as you guys can see, a bobber stop up top, two split shots, and then a 32nd ounce tube jig. If that's gonna focus, that's what I'm using. So we're gonna come over here and drop on in and see if I can smash one right away. I see, I see a fair amount actually. I'm just gonna put my bait down there. Okay, I have like a little fish already. I don't know, something little was nibbling it. Come on, give me rock bass. I see some bluegills. Okay, no, 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 get, no, give me, give me the rock bass. Come on now, rock bass, rock bass, rock bass, rock bass. Oh, oh, I think I have one. I got a rock bass. Okay, so this is the species that we're targeting today, but we want to catch a little bigger ones. Not, this one's too small to eat. So that right there, folks, is a rock bass. Beautiful specimen. We're gonna let this one go because we want some big mamas. All right, let's see if we can target a couple bigger ones. I'm seeing some decent size. Oh yeah, there's a decent size one right down here. Let's see if, okay. Those little fish are attacking me right now. I see perch, I see bluegill, but I really want one of those big rock bass to bite. Hmm. Little one, gosh dang it. I want a biggin. Give me a biggin. Number two, I, I see giants down there. I want the giant ones. Come on, come on. Give me a big one. This is a bluegill. It's not, oh, it's a higher, it's a pumpkin seed. I got a pumpkin seed. What the heck? Dude, these fish are acting like they've never ate before in their lives. Pretty looking fish. Very pretty. Not the rock bass that I'm looking for though. Oh, this one's better. This one's better. Okay, this is the first better one of the day nothing huge but definitely an upgrade from what we have been catching so that's good big rock bass guy oh yeah i ah oh, come on i'm just like literally looking at the big ones i see you right there All right, I am having a huge problem catching big ones. Like I can't catch a big one. So I'm just switching to a eighth ounce jig head now with a tiny plastic. I have no clue if this is gonna work and I'm starting to lose confidence in my rock bass catching abilities. It's, I'm really questioning myself right now. Is that the first one? Oh, it's definitely better. That might be a keeper, honestly. Oh yeah, this is a this is okay. This is by far the biggest one of the day so far. I feel like if we're gonna be eating some rock bass, that's for sure gonna be a good one, huh? 
Oh my god, finally got one. Holy crap. Only took 500 years to catch one. Goodness. That's another nice one. Dude, what the heck? Two nice ones in a row? Oh, I think we have to. That's another good one right there. Look at that. Two? That's two nice rock bass. That's a harvest right there, son. All right, so now I got two in the box. That's, we're, we're getting somewhere, okay? All I had to do was stop using the bobber and upsize my bait. Then all the small guys stopped biting me and only the big guys started eating me, which I was getting less bites, but the bites I do get, they're bigger. So we like to see that. That's the rig right there. Let me see if I can catch a fish in like two seconds as soon as I drop in. Come on, drop on down. Come on. Oh yeah, come on, come on, come on. I see some rocky bass looking at me. Come on, give me a good one. Give me a good one. I know you want me. You're gonna eat me. Oh, he missed me. Oh, that's a better, better, better. This is definitely better. I would say this is on the better side. It's a fatty. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, yeah. Look at that. Ah, we're gonna let this one go. It's kind of small. Dude, we're on the rock bass, though, boys. Big vertical jigging rock bass kind of guy. I don't know if this video is interesting to you guys or not, but I mean, kind of having fun doing this. Eat me. Ooh. Ooh, is this better? This is better. Yes. Dude, that might be our third keeper of the day. Let's get it. Definitely the third keeper. Ha <laughs> ha. Big rock bass guy. I'm just a huge rock bass fan. These are going to just fillet up nice. They're nice and fat. Oh, God. Yeah, we just love this. Oh, I got one. Come on, that was a good one. This is a good one. Yes, biggest of the day. I sight fished him, let's go. Oh God, yeah, definitely the biggest rock bass of the day. I've been seeing this one for a while and like it's been sitting on this rock over here and like everything I've thrown into it has not eaten, has not eaten. Finally, I got the big boy to eat. Let's go. We're figuring out a pattern now, boys. Dude, these rock bass like don't stand a chance now. Like I'm just so dialed on the rock bass, not even funny. Paisley, how did rock bass fishing go today for you? You look kind of wet. <laughs> okay, see ya. What up, Linz? What up? How you doing? Good. You missed the rock bass slay fest. I know, I left for two minutes and you slayed, but when I was here, you were catching like little guys. Whew, ladies and gentlemen, I've been fishing for probably about an hour and a half and that is all I can take. This is probably the most frustrating fishing I've ever done, just for the fact that like there's only a couple big rock bass and all the little ones swarm to your bait right away. And like the big ones can never get time to eat your bait. You just catch the small ones. And it was getting frustrating, but I did manage ending up getting four nice ones. So let's go check on those right now. All right, Paisley, you guarding the fish right now or what my guy? She's keeping an eye yeah, on she them. Is keep okay, you want, <laughs> what's in there? What's in there, Paisley? What is that? Should I get them? What's, what's this? What's the, oh, oh, what's that Paisley? Oh my gosh! What's in there? Oh, scary. Are you gonna get them? Oh. Get them, Paisley. They smell, huh? Get them. Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> she flinches every time they move. Those are the nice, nicest ones of the day. Is that even a word? The nicest ones of the day that I got. Uh, biggest one <laughs> in there is on the far right right now. It's that one right the there. Least floppy one. Yeah, the least floppy one. But they both, they all look really good, like good eaters. Hey. What are you barking at, bro? This isn't your house. You don't what get to bark. What are you barking bark. at? That's pretty cool. Piz is barking right now. And Lindsay and I are going to wrap this up. We're going to get going. We got some stuff to do. I'm going to take these guys home, clean them, which I'm probably not going to show just because of YouTube. And it's kind of dumb. Last year I did a video and I did show the cleaning process. So you can check that out. And yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yes, sir. Mm -mm -mm. Look at them rock bass in there, son. Well, guys, it has been two days since uh, you last seen me. I'm sorry, I've been so busy that I have not had time to cook this fish. But finally, it's 10, 17 a.m. 
and I got some time to do a little bit of cooking. So I got the rock bass all cleaned up here. Let me grab a flame to show you how they turned out because they turned out pretty good, I would say. Like they literally look like, that looks like a bluegill of some sorts, I believe, or maybe like a small crappie. Yeah, super white, super white, fillet them, put it in the water with a little bit of salt, let them soak, try to take the, all the game out, and they're ready to be eaten now. I don't feel like eating that much of them, so I think I'm just gonna cook like maybe one whole fish. Uh, I wanna use this new seasoning that I got from Ducks Waterfowl. Andrew and Austin sent me this, and it looks amazing. They're really hyping it up. This is the Ducks Waterfowl Smoky Barbecue. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it just smells like goodness right there. I'm gonna do just a simple little pan sear kind of thing, sprinkle a little bit on there, and we're gonna call that good. I'll give you a little update what's going on in my life right now. Got the old editing station here. I'm editing this video right now, as you guys can see, and I'm packing for yet another trip, and got like 80 pound braid, 65 pound braid, a bunch of reels, the monoptics, and all the camera stuff. The day that you are watching this, I am traveling right now. Like as we speak, I'm in an airplane going to California to film an uncharter trip. So that you guys got to look forward to that because we're going to be doing some crazy stuff out there. The catch co company is about to be lit, but I'm going to start cooking. You guys stay tuned. I'm hungry. All right. So we have the pan at like a medium high heat. And we're gonna put a little bit of butter in there because butter makes everything better, all right? That is true facts right there. Get off, get off of me. Get off of me, there we go. Okay, now that the butter has melted a decent amount, we're going to stick in our first filet. Woo! Yummy, this rock bass looks super good. Then we're gonna put in the other filet as well. Mix around in that butter, don't be shy. And then we're gonna grab our special secret seasoning. Dun dun dun! Ducks Waterfall Smoky Barbecue. First time ever. Let's get after it. We're gonna, oh, oh. Look at that. We're just getting after it with that sprinklage. I mean, it smells good. Yeah, the aroma, oh wow. That smells super good. Okay, I'm excited about this. We're gonna let this cook for about two and a half minutes on each side, and uh, once it's done, it's done. That's pretty simple as it gets, folks. Can you guys, can you guys see that? I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's rock bass. So last year I ended up frying the rock bass and this year I was like, you know what? Maybe the rock bass tasted so good last year because I fried it and that frying stuff always kind of hides a taste. This year I wanted to get the full fledged kind of like taste of rock bass. So I tried to cook it as natural as possible just on the stove in some butter. A lot of you are gonna say, oh, that's not natural at all. You got butter in there. Well, this is what you get. I'm gonna go in for a butter rock bass. This actually looks really good. Um, I'm gonna try to hold this up to the camera without dropping it. Yep, there we go. Some rock bass. Cheers, boys. I'll be honest. I like it better fried. This is definitely not as good as when it was fried. When it was fried, you had that crunch and ooh. Now I'm really tasting kind of like the rock bass taste. It's okay. I'm not gonna say it's really good and cap to you guys. That wouldn't be fair. It's like a little more gamey bluegill. I guess if that makes any sense. It's it's all right. I mean, you know, I think last year I thought it was amazing because it was fried. Anything that's fried, 
automatic dub. But you get the more natural taste here and yeah, I would say it's okay. Would I say it's worth keeping a giant limit of? Probably not. And that is where we are going to end today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what are your thoughts on Rock Bass. This go around, honestly, meh, meh. That's all I gotta say about it. Like if you guys have better recipes that I don't know about, please, 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 please let me know down in the comment section down below because maybe next time I do this next year or later this summer, I can try your guys' recipes here in my kitchen and uh, give you my thoughts about it. And I, you know, I kind of feel like you guys will like that. But anyways, thank you guys so much for clicking on today's video. Make sure to hit the like button and share this video with one of your friends that likes rock bass. And yeah, until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you on the next one.